So we can never question the New York Times or the Washington Post or the Wall Street Journal. They always get it right. Okay, that's an interesting theory. But did you really catch what he said? What Scarborough and the rest of these opportunists are saying is that if you ever raise doubt about the collusion narrative, you're either a mouthpiece for Putin or just a Trump bootlicker. There's no room for anything in between. That's how they attempt to smear people and shut down debate. Well, our next guest has been a skeptic from the start of this pro journalist and co-founder of The Intercept, Glenn Greenwald, joins us now. Glenn, uh, we have seen this shift in the media. The same people who were just exposed now say that either Barr is like doing running a conspiracy with Trump and massaging Mueller's findings or that Mueller himself might be in on some type of conspiracy. So what can we expect from here from the media that got this so wrong from the start? Well, first of all, if any of those people had any honor, they would go before the camera, hang their head in shame, and then apologize to everybody that they misled for the last three years and then resign and go away, never to be heard from again. But, of course, they won't. They're addicted to their paycheck and to the bright lights of the camera, so they'll continue to do it. They're kind of like an apocalyptic cult. You know those cult leaders who promise their followers that the world is going to end on a certain date, and then the date arrives and the world doesn't end, and all their confused flock need an explanation? That's what MSNBC and CNN are facing right now, is a very confused flock of people who kept being told that it was only a matter of time before Bob Mueller saves them all from the Trump administration by dragging Trump Jr. and Jared Kushner and everybody else out in handcuffs. And now not only didn't any of that happen, but he specifically found that there was no collusion. The thing that they were told there wasn't even any debate about. And so what they're doing now is spinning all new conspiracy theories. It's kind of like a Ponzi scheme where it keeps collapsing, so you keep having to feed it. <laughs> so their argument now is that, oh, you know what? We haven't seen the Mueller report. All we've seen is William Barr's claims about what's in it, which means they're implying that probably Bob Mueller did find collusion, but William Barr is lying about it. And for some reason, Bob Mueller and his team of 19 high-powered lawyers are totally fine with that. They're just completely silent and passive as William Barr goes around lying about the last 22 months of their work. How stupid and gullible do you have to be to believe that? But that's the desperation CNN and now, MSNBC anchors well, face Glenn, for having gotten CNN caught with this scam. Yeah, well, speaking of CNN, by the way, first of all, Chris Cuomo said not a chance would he ever apologize last night when Giuliani brought that possibility up. He said not a chance. He ridiculed Giuliani after he left the show, which is low class. Um, but this is what CNN's coverage looked like, just for people who haven't caught it, over the past two years. I want to read the definition of, of treason. Hearing the new word, right? He, he said it was treason, right? We do know that Donald Trump Sr. has lied throughout this investigation. This goes to the heart of everything we've been talking about for the last couple of years, the collusion yes. and the cover-up. But yesterday, Glenn, the network president, Jeff Zucker, defended the network's coverage, and he told the New York Times, quote, we're not investigators, we're journalists. And our role is to report the facts as we know them, which is exactly what we did. A sitting president's own Justice Department investigated his campaign for collusion with a hostile nation. That's not enormous because the media says so. That's enormous because it's unprecedented. Your response to his defense. Well, Jeff Zucker has no understanding of what journalism is, and all you have to do is look at the network that he runs to see that. You want to hear something so interesting, Laura? I spent a lot of years being on CNN and MSNBC constantly. I used to get invited on all the time. Starting in 2017, when I began to express serious skepticism about their cash cow, which was this hoax, this fairy tale, this conspiracy theory that they were peddling every day, they just banned me from going on their networks. And it's not just me. It's other highly credentialed journalists who are expressing skepticism, like Jeremy Scahill, Matt Taibbi, lots of other people on the left who were just banned because they wanted to deceive their audience into believing that the only ones who questioned what they were feeding them were either the Trump uh, White House or hardcore Trump supporters. They lied not just to their audience about what really happened, but they did it on purpose to, to, to keep anybody who is questioning them 
off the air. They're right. They're not investigators. They're also not journalists. They're propagandists. They're fraudsters. They made lots of money lying to people and misleading people on purpose, and their entire hoax just got exposed. Uh, uh, Glenn, thank you very much. For